Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share a quick video on a couple tips on how you can coffee stain some of your glassing bags. Mostly I'm focusing on the fact that these items came in the Timeless Collection that was released in my Etsy shop, but of course this works for absolutely anything. Back when I had first started coffee dyeing, I would dip these bags into a bowl of coffee and then dry them which works, it's absolutely fine, but I just wanna share with those of you who are new a super quick way that you can coffee stain your items, dry them quick, and use them right away. So let's go out into the kitchen and I will show you. All right, you guys, so forgive me. I know it's a little echoey out here in the kitchen because I've filmed here before and my lighting, it's getting a little dark outside and I'm holding the camera, so hopefully I don't make you sick. But I just wanted to show you this oven is rather new and the temperature, okay, the oven that I had before was literally ancient and the temperature really varies depending on your oven. I have mine set to 250 and it's going to dry pretty quickly because I'm not soaking them. So I have my cookie sheet here and then I have my items and what I've done is I've literally just brewed a cup of coffee in the Keurig nothing fancy just I was in a hurry so I used the Keurig made a cup of coffee put it in this Dollar Tree spritzer bottle so I'm just going to lay my items out on the coffee tray here and that, the cookie sheet sorry coffee tray I have coffee on the brain I'm going to do this envelope too so for now I'm going to start with this and see what happens. I want to have enough room here. And then let's see if I how I have my coffee. I'm looking through the phone, so everything's a little wonky. But I'm just spraying coffee on my items because they don't have to be super saturated. I'll zoom in a little. And again, I was looking through my phone, so I might not have sprayed it so much if I hadn't but you can see how wet I made them. Of course, you can't do it wrong. And I'm going to grab a hot pad. <laughs> Sorry, I feel bad moving this video around so much. I'm just going to put them in the oven and we shall see how long I wait for that. I'm probably going to wait oh, about three minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, so the timer went off. So I'm just going to pull these out really quickly. That one's still a little damp there, but I think it's dry enough that I don't mind flipping it over and spraying the other side. And you can see that this only takes a few minutes. And my envelope is actually pretty dry. This one's dry. This is nice when you're not dyeing a lot of paper and you just want something for your project because you can move pretty quickly. So just a quick spritz of the coffee and back in the oven. Okay, so I have pulled these out of the oven and everything is nice and dry. I had them in for three minutes per side. Maybe they would have been done quicker than that. You can see how this is something you can do pretty quickly. So I am going to finish up my last two items that I have here and then we will go back into my craft room. Okay, so now I finished that up and you can just see some of the staining effects and the wrinkling that this glassine has. And I think it's lovely, even the envelope some really fun staining on it and then I didn't ruin the glue by soaking the envelope so that's really fun and then my doily as well all right so that is it for this video I hope that some of you found it helpful if you were a little intimidated to start coffee dyeing your things you can see how easy it can be if you don't want to brew a big pot of coffee of course this would work on a sheet of paper just as easily. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.